BYU serving to start the third set, a must-win set for Nebraska. And Paul Miller, aggressive right away, takes it over for the opening point of the set. She was very aggressive offensively yesterday. That's her third kill so far today. Back row by Rolfson. Fiend trying to put it away, can't do it. The BYU block imposing itself right away. Again, this is a three out of five set match. So BYU poised to try to sweep this match. It is first to 25 win by two for the first four sets. If we get to a final set, that would be to 15 win by two. in the middle of the court. Cecilia Hall, number six. That is her sixth kill. So important for Nebraska to get some offense out of their middle. That was a key in their win last night. The pace of that set from Alohi Robbins Hardy is what I like to see. I want to see that same set to Alexa Gray. Creates a gap between the two blockers, and Tamber Nobles puts it away. Hampson serving right down the line. Ace for Hampson. Her second ace of the night, that high contact point. It's like John Izzer on a tennis court. Comes from so far up high down into the court. Nice movement on that jump shot serve. by Hampson. Down the line, point BYU. Amber Nobles has been fantastic. Her seventh kill. But look at Jennifer Hampson covering her teammate. I'll tell you, when you cover your teammate, that builds trust. That's really important part of being a good teammate. Six digs for Hampson. Shot by Wong Arantes, finding that opening in the BYU defense. That's tough to do. Two balls so far in this third set have dropped right in the middle on a little little fast shot. One by Paul Miller, one by Justine Wong Arantes. That is called out. Good looking swing by Tamber Nobles. No touch on that. So, Point Nebraska. We're tied at four, third set. BYU right now, setters front row. Only two hitting options Nobles and Boswell. into the net there. That point's going to go to BYU. And BYU takes a one-point advantage now on 5-4. to four. John Cook and the Huskers have been very frustrated by BYU. Covered everything tonight. Nobles back to serve. Point BYU. Ball didn't clear the net. Nebraska trying to run that middle that was so good for them last night. This one does not clear the net. Actually, it looked like it got a piece of Amy Boswell, the BYU blocker's arm. Nobles is back to serve again for BYU. A strong swing on the right side. As that is put down with authority by Amber Rolfson, she rotates out. Amber Rolfson with her sixth kill. Quick arm through the seam between the BYU blockers. BYU up by one, trying to sweep Nebraska. It did. Albrecht gets it. And a successful kill by Katie Rolfson. Fantastic dig by Annika Albrecht, number 17 and wide. And then Rolfson able to finish it off down the line for a Nebraska kill. Great 
tools to block. That's a point for BYU. Ninth kill so far for Alexa Gray. Last four or five plays, in a breath, excuse me, BYU has been out of system. They need to refocus and get their pass up to the net so they can run an offense. BYU up by one. And a nice shot down the line by the Huskers. As that is for Nebraska, Melanie Keel, who's stuck into the lineup for the first time. Amy Boswell right there to dig that ball, trying to get out of the way, thinking it might go long, but it hits her on the way. Feel a sophomore from Germany. Was it touch? Yes. Point BYU. A kill will go into the scoring column for Whitney Young. Looks like it just got the Melanie Kyle's finger. It's a point for Nebraska. My statistical box that I'm keeping right yeah. here, that's 13. 13 points for Nebraska. Big swings off the blocker's hands in Nebraska's favor. Etheridge serving for the Huskers. Parker with the set to Gray. And the Nebraska blocker is too strong as uh, you have... Paul up there, along with Fiend. Kelsey Fiend gets most of that ball. She is big on the left side. Nice block for Nebraska. Nebraska up by one. Nebraska has seven blocks in this match. Nebraska, the last stretch of seven, eight points, has been able to get BYU out of system. BYU not passing the ball extremely well, and they lost their passing rhythm in the fourth set as well last night. Welling serving for BYU. We're tied at nine. And Fiend finds the opening. Perfectly placed. Power cross court. The defender, Sierra Parker, could barely get out of the way, and the ball still gets in. serve from six feet seven inches tall it's down into the court good block boswell ten and blue amy boswell hands way over the net for byu this is so important when you're learning to block reaching those hands over the net not just arms high hands over the net Gibson again will serve deep serve
midst of a 4-0 run. It's taking a three-point lead, trying to sweep Nebraska. A doubleheader, Sunday at 4 on ESPNU. BYU trying to sweep Nebraska and continue this theme of upsets here in Seattle this weekend. It was Nebraska taking out Washington yesterday. BYU defeated Florida State. the opening for the Huskers. Here's where we stand. One more piece of the puzzle left to be inserted. And the winner of this regional final will face Texas at 7 Eastern Thursday night in the first of two national semifinals. takes him to serve. Nebraska lost at this stage in the NCAA tournament last year to Texas. And Hampson again tooling that block and getting the point for BYU. High hands down the line. Jennifer Hampton finding a way to get those kills. BYU and Nebraska, the only teams outside the top eight national seeds to reach the regional finals. This has been the Cinderella Regional. And a reminder to continue watching the national championship this Thursday at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. And you can check in on all 
of the NCAA Championships at NCAA.com, your home for the 89 NCAA Championships. Paul Miller with the ace. That's not going to be run down. A little indecisive serve received there, and it is a three-point lead for BYU. Timeout, BYU. For Nebraska. Nebraska the point. Discipline defense and then swinging in transition. That's how Nebraska scores their points and they do it very well. 20 to 18, the BYU lead has shrunk to two. Hampson votes up. Wanderantes keeps it alive. Free ball here for BYU. And Hampson misses. Was it touched? Yes, it was touched. A late call going BYU's way. And the Husker fans, along with the coaches, are not happy with it. Let's take a look. I did not see the touch. Oh, kind of got a finger, but the Nebraska players did not argue much. scrambling by the Huskers. Hampson misses. No touch. Point Nebraska. Nebraska in Hampson's face with their block. She's trying to go high and deep and not getting on top of it. Ulrich rotates back to serve. One of the best servers statistically for Nebraska this year in terms of aces. Arantes with the dig. Back set to Hampson. That goes out. Point BYU. And it will be Hampson back serving for BYU. And Hampson has been very effective serving tonight. 28 services is on the season. Hampson keeps it alive. Alwyn wants it big on the right side. Now BYU needs to really focus on their pass. They've been in a rotation where they've got two hitters, Boswell and Nobles, Alohi Robbins Hardy, the setter for BYU in the front row.